Now I'm getting ready to drill these holes here along the leading edge of the aileron. Match drilling the leading edge skin to the steel counterbalance that's underneath it. <clears throat> so here's the issue. If you put, these have to be opened up to size 30, so if you put a 30 size drill bit in your drill and you come in here and you try to match drill this thin aluminum with this heavy wall metal tubing, this is going to end up walking and you're going to end up with a hole on the skin that's huge and you probably won't have the angle exactly correct by the time you muscle this drill bit through that heavy wall metal. So what I like to do is I use my 40 size drill bit and I'll just go ahead as I've done in the past I'll just drill through these holes just enough to leave a mark on the steel tube. So it's nothing more than That's it. Just to leave a nice indentation on the tube. I'll do that obviously for all these holes. Disassemble, pull the tube out, and then I'll uh, figure out how I'm going to mount this on my drill press and then finish drilling the hole in the tube on the drill press so I can get it straight and I can get it to the proper size and then these holes here on the skin don't get mutilated, they don't get oversized, they don't get, you know, basically drilled out of shape. So let me finish these and then we'll go over to the drill press. What I've elected to do is go ahead and remove the Clecos from the leading edge just along the bottom. So I took these Clecos out which loosened up the skin just enough so I could slide out the counterbalance weight. So now that I have the, the bait, the, wow, the bait, yeah, the counterbalance weight removed, I'll go ahead and drill it on the drill press just like I talked about a moment ago. And then I'll bring it back, I'll slide it back in place, I'll put these Clecos in with the new holes that I just drilled along here, and then I'll Cleco this back down um, well, before I do that, when you read through the instructions, you have to take the trailing edge off because you got to do some drilling in here. So I'll go ahead and put the counterbalance in, Clico it along this leading edge with the holes that I just drilled, and then I'll take this skin off. Once I have this skin off, I'll go ahead and re-Clico the entire leading edge back in place. I like doing it this way because this assembly is Clecoed and it's square and it's true. So I like to leave it that way, remove what I need to remove to drill, then put it back. And then I can take this off and put this back together. So that's my method. Um, now that the weight's out, I'm going to go ahead and set it up on the drill press. Here's my setup for drilling the uh, counterbalance. Of course, everybody's situation will be different because I have no idea how your shop is or your hanger is laid out. So obviously I've got the drill press, I've got a small vise on top, I've got the counterbalance in the vise, I've got the counterbalance level, and I've got my uh, cabinet here. All I do is open up a drawer, I open up a bottom drawer, put some three quarter inch plywood across it, and then I can adjust my stand as needed to get the counterbalance level. So now at this point, it's just a matter of making sure that the holes in the counterbalance are perpendicular, that the, the tubing is not rolled in such a way that the holes are not straight up and down. Um, I basically just do that by eye using the drill bit as a guide. I know the drill bit is vertical and then I just roll the tube until the hole comes and lines up with the drill bit. And then, now it's just a matter of drilling the holes and moving the counterbalance down uh, to drill them or taking the counterbalance off and turning it around so I can drill half the holes, take the balance out, flip it around, do half the holes. Um, 
since this is relatively thick steel, it's roughly eighth inch wall steel, you want to use a slow speed and cutting fluid to drill these holes. So I'll do that next. All right, so here we go. I like to use uh, my cutting fluid of choice is called Tap Magic. Um, it's just something that I prefer. So I put a little bit of that on a, a little acid brush and just put a little bit on uh, each hole that I'll drill. And again, like I said, slow speed, take your time. So now I've got to move the vise, otherwise it's going to drop off the table. So what I'll do is, I'm going to go ahead and put this drill bit back down through this hole and lock the drill press in place. So that will keep the tube from rotating. Now I can move my vise. move the drill out of the way and now I can move my pipe so that just keeps these holes all in alignment looks like I'm going to lose my support here shortly shop setup is like, but this works for me. It's a little tedious, but it does work and it's quite accurate. <clears throat> so I'll just continue to do what you see here until I get all these drilled. And then uh, we'll put it back in and Clico it to the skin and see what gives. <clears throat> the counterbalance is now slid back in place on the aileron. I should mention that when I had drilled this, I started out with a number 40 drill bit because that found the mark that I had originally made using that same drill bit. Um, it, it found that mark very easily and I went ahead and pre-drilled all these holes with a number 40 on the counterbalance. Then I came back and drilled it to the proper size which is a number 30. So this is now a number 30 size hole. The holes in this counterbalance are all number 30. Now if you remember, we have not drilled these holes yet. I just used a number 40 bit through this existing hole to mark the counterbalance. Now that this is the proper size number 30 hole, all of these can now be match drilled to the counterbalance. 
since the counterbalance is steel and it's thick walled it will it will help guide these uh, number 30 holes here when you go to enlarge them so it should match really well when you when now that you uh, match drill these up to the proper size to match the counterbalance so let me do that I'm going to drill these out in Coleco as I go and see what gives since I'm back to drilling thin aluminum I can go ahead and run my drill at the highest speed setting that I can get out of it and there's uh, no cutting fluid or lube required so I'm just going to go ahead and run my number 30 drill through here and match drill the skin to the counterbalance. So that's a good sign I got that one to find its way. Some of these cleavers still have fuel tank sealing on them. Moving on. Here's the leading edge assembly with the uh, counterbalance pipe back in place as per the instructions. At this point, 
you're supposed to drill, you remove this bottom Clico here and you use a long drill bit and you go through this hole and you come across to this pre-punched hole here on the nose rib and drill into the counterbalance. Now again, all I did was go through the hole and make a little mark on the counterbalance just like I did with these leading edge holes. And then this gets disassembled and then that hole on either end will get drilled all the way through uh, on the drill press. Again, because this aluminum is so thin, this is thick steel and it's curved, you've got a little bit of a potential for the drill bit to meander around in here and make this hole too big. So I just mark it, pull it out, and drill it. So that's what I'm going to do next, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, do all the cleaning and edge finishing, dimpling, and, and all that good stuff.